So you can see, first of all, when I come forward and I'm holding this, we definitely don't want to come in like this because now my arch is collapsing. So I tell people either hold your heel down or hold your arch so your arch is stable. And you really want to come, in this knee, you want to come out a little bit over maybe the third, fourth toe. Aiming here, keeping the heel down versus letting the arch collapse in, okay? And I also don't want to come way out here, right? So aim for that third or fourth toe. Now, another important thing is tibial rotation. A lot of people lack the ability for their tibia to turn in or rotate. Uh, you can test this by sitting and stabilizing proximally. Turn your foot out and then turn your foot in. You should be able to go about twice as much out as you can go in, but a lot of people, when they're stabilizing, they can't turn their foot in at all, okay? So a mobilization we like to do for that, I like to put kettlebells here, okay, to help stabilize on the medial toe and the back of the ankle. Hold here, you can even use a, a mobility band or a voodoo band and you know tighten it around and then you have something you can really hold on to. But what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm trying to kind of turn in here. I'm just kind of pulling the skin in just a small little mobilization, and then I'm gonna do my ankle mobility, holding that, okay? And it will, it should feel a little bit different than your, than your typical mobilization. Again, I can push at end range, okay? And I'm holding this in the whole time, okay? Another way we can go at that is if I, I'm gonna show you from the back here, if I get in this position and turn my feet in, or I'm internally rotating my tibia, and then if I sit back on my heels, okay, hold, I can shift to one side or the other, okay, but I'm keeping my tibias internally rotated. Oh yeah, this is a little uncomfortable. And I'm gonna put weight back. That's another way to